Sunday School on YouTube. I am so blessed to be with you guys this morning. I'm Teacher Yessie. Today we're going to be learning about God's protection. But before we do that, let's click on the link below, listen to our worship song, and I'll see you guys right now. Hey guys, welcome back to Kids Are Cool Sunday School. I am so blessed to be with you guys this morning. I'm Teacher Yessie. Today we're going to be learning about God's protection. But before we do that, let's click on the link below. And listen to our worship song, but I'll see you guys, right? Yeah. Welcome back. I hope that you guys enjoy that song and that it bless your hearts. Before we get started, let's close our eyes, bow our heads, and open up in a word of prayer. Lord Father God, we thank you for this morning. Lord Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for waking us up this morning, for giving us another opportunity to be with you, Lord Father God, to gather, gather together, Lord Father God, even though we're not able to gather in person, but we're able to gather through YouTube, my God. I pray, Lord Father God, that you bless each and every one of the kids that are joining us this morning, my God. We know, Lord Father God, that each and every day we learn something new. And I hope, Lord Father God, that today they will take something away from this lesson, my God. I pray, Lord Father God, that you continue to protect us, continue to bless us, my God. And then we lift up all those, Lord Father God, that are sick in body right now, Lord Father God. We know, Lord Jesus, that everything that you do is for a purpose and that somehow, somehow you're going to work everything out for our good, my God. We love you, Jesus. We praise you. Amen. All right, guys, so today we're going to learn about God's protection. Today's memory verse is, As a father has compassion for his children, so does the Lord have compassion for those who fear him. And that's going to be Psalms 1 and 3, 13. So in a previous lesson, we learned that fear means respect for the Lord. So when sometimes when we hear the word fear, we just, you know, it's like it scares us, but it doesn't supposed to, you know, it's not scary at all. Um, so what basically our verse means is that, God's going to protect us as long as we do what he's, he asks of us, as long as we follow his rules and everything that, you know, he sets forth for us, he will go ahead and protect us because God loves his children and that's what he does. After all, you know, he sent his son, his son Jesus to die on that cross for us because that's how much he loves us and that's how much, you know, he's going to do anything and everything he can to protect us. So this morning we are going to be doing a mixed up emotions. This is for my older kiddos and we're going to do this in a little, little while. For the younger ones we have this coloring page of Jesus and the children. So we can go ahead and get started little ones. We can, get, we can do this while um, we start our lesson. So yeah, so we have a few questions that you know a lot of people, um, like I said, they fear, when they hear the word fear, it automatically sounds scary. For fear is basically just another word for respect. We have to, you know, respect God and respect everything that He tells us to do because everything that He asks of us, everything that is in the Bible, um, is for our own protection and for our own good. He will never do us wrong or steer us wrong. So again, you know, guys, let's um continue to trust in Him and believe in Him. I know that right now times are tough with us being in quarantine with this virus, but um, just know guys that God is protecting us, God is protecting your family members, and that one day we're gonna wake up and this is all gonna be over. But in the meantime, we have to stand firm in our faith, continue to allow God to speak to us, continue to believe and trust that everything's gonna pass. You know, um, I know that it's hard for you guys, you guys are probably you know, like the smallest of your, of your home, <clears throat> of your household, and you know you may hear things that scare you but don't be scared you know whenever you do feel that way just sit down take some time for yourselves or ask your mom or your dad you know to pray with you uh, we're all gonna be okay guys um, so today's lesson kind of ties in with everything that's happening right now and it's about God's protection uh, we're gonna go ahead and start reading um, Matthew it's gonna be Matthew 18 5 through six and it's you know basically what I was just talking about how God is going to protect his children God loves each and every one of us he loves the adults he loves everybody but he loves his children the most you know because as children we are able to learn about him and as we grow we know more of him and we are able to educate others of him and show his love the love that he gives us we're able to show that to others so that's what we want to focus on you guys. We want you guys to know that Jesus loves you. And no matter what you're going through, no matter what you do, Jesus is always going to love you guys. So let's go ahead and read. That's going to be Matthew 
18, 5 through 6. And it says, And whoever welcomes one child like this in my name welcomes me. So that means anybody that welcomes a child in the name of Jesus, he's going to love that person. And, you know, that's a blessing to welcome God's children um, into your home or into your family just to show love to, to, to his children. He, that's what he wants for us. Number six says, But whoever causes the downfall of one of these little ones who believe in me, it will be better for him to have a heavy milestone where hungs are, that hangs around his neck and were drowned in the depths of the sea. So basically that means um, anybody that hurts a child of God is going to be dealing with God. God is going to be very upset, you know, um, with anybody that hurts his child or his children. So um, don't ever fear. Don't ever be afraid that um, anybody's going to hurt you. Things do happen in the world, kiddos, but we have to keep in mind that God's going to be here for us. God is going to embrace you. God is going to hug you. God is going to show you his love and, and be there for you, you know. Um, don't ever let anything overcome you. We have to stand firm in our faith. Faith is basically believing that God is here with us, that God can do it all, and he does it all. I mean, everything that's happening in the last couple of months, I know it's frustrating for you guys. I know that you guys have a hard time, but remember, just keep praying, keep asking God to protect you. You know, some of you have gone through things that shouldn't be something a kid or should go through, but again, just remember that this is a God's grace and God's mercy that He's gotten you guys out of whatever you guys have gone through and same with your families, guys. Um, don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that God loves you and He's going to protect you no matter what. And even when we don't feel like He's with us, even when we don't understand, continue to believe in Him, continue to trust in Him, and everything is going to be okay. So let's go ahead, guys. Um, Today is going to be a short lesson. I just want you guys to, you know, understand that God is, God is here. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm probably going to sound like a broken record. But please, guys, understand that no matter what our hearts feel, sometimes we run with our emotions um, and we don't have faith. We have to continue to have faith, you know, faith in our Lord. Jesus died on that cross for us to give us salvation. And he didn't, you know, give up his life just for bad things to happen to us. You know, as Christians, you as little ones are going to have a lot of questions. You as little ones are going to have a lot of things that you go through. But always keep in mind. Keep in mind and remember that God gave his life for you so that you can live. So that you when we, so we can go to heaven, you know, and live a glorious life we're just visitors here guys we this is not our permanent home you know so one day you know we're going to go up to heaven and we're going to be surrounded by all our family members and be super happy and just have the best time ever so don't ever forget that guys don't ever forget regardless of what happens regardless of anybody even if you go through bullying or anything anything that happens you just Pray about it, pray about it, ask God to help you, and you will see God's grace. God is going to work it out for you guys. So, um, all right, so let's go ahead and um, go through this um, worksheet right now. And we're going to, it says, mix up emotions. Again, we're just talking about emotions or feelings. Um, feelings are temporary. That's one thing I want you guys to understand. Feelings are temporary. I mean, we could be sad one minute, and then all of a sudden, you know, Something happens and we're happy once again. So that's why I want you guys to know right now that you guys are little and understand that. Don't make decisions when you're feeling any type of way. Just wait. Pray about everything, guys. Pray about everything. That's very important. Because when we um, make decisions based on faith, that's when we get the best outcome. All right? Um, so don't ever make, especially when you're mad. Do not make any decisions when you're mad. All right? So mix up emotions. The word below, the words below, got it, got, sorry guys, I get tongue tied. Um, and I'm a little nervous too. Um, the words below got all mixed up. Unscramble these words to find various emotions that we may have during a normal week. Circle happy faces, 
Her circle that has the faces next to it. Is it a positive emotion or is it a frowning face for a negative emotion? So let's go ahead and let's get started with this. So we have A H T E. So what do we think H A T E means? We have a couple of clues down here. So um, I think H A T E is for hate. Hate is not a good emotion. As as Christians, you know, it's, we shouldn't hate. I mean, we are called to love one another. We are called to show God's love. God shows us love each and every day. So that's what we are called to do. Hate is going to be a negative emotion. So we are going to put a frowning, we're going to circle the frowning face, okay? And I'm actually going to cross mine out because hate is not good. I, that's one thing that I do not ever want you guys to feel. It's not an emotion that I would ever want you guys to feel. So we're going to cross that out. And this isn't working, so let me switch it up. There we go. Now, DSA. What do you think DSA is? DSA. So we have a few clues right here. Let's cross out hate. We did that one already. DSA. I think that is for sad. So sad. Again, sad is not, you know, good emotion to have. Whenever you're feeling sad, you can reach out to me, reach out to, you know, talk to your mom and dad, reach out to a friend. There's always somebody you can talk to, guys. So that's also going to be a frown face. And it's okay to be sad from time to time, you know. We're human. We, we, we can be sad. But just don't let it overcome you. Don't let it um, take too much of your time or of your day. Let's cross this one out too because I don't want you guys to be sad. G-N-A-E-R. What do you guys think is, that word is? G-N-E-R. So we have these words right here. To be honest with you guys, I think it means anger. Let's see. I wasn't sure what it was, but I think it's anger. Yes. Hey, I was right. <laughs> so anger is another, you know, just another emotion that I do not want you guys to linger on. Um, when we get mad at our brother, or our sister, or even our parents, um, you know, let's feel what we need to feel, but let's try to get rid of that feeling as soon as possible. It's, you know, say, hey, Jesus, you know, bow your head down and say, Jesus, please help me not feel this way. Please help me remove this anger from my heart because I know that you love me and that's what I want to feel for others. I want to feel love for, for everybody. So please, Jesus, help me um, remove this anger from my heart. I, so now this one, this one is one that, this one is F, um, E F A R. E F A R. To me, um, this looks like fear. Fear. With everything that's happening nowadays, we hear this word a lot. And we have that word here um, in our memory verse. Fear, yes, it could be, I mean, when it comes to God, fear means to have respect for God, to have fear for the Lord, um, respect what, you know, He wants for us. But it also means, you know, to be scared. Um, and it's okay to be scared, guys. It's okay um, with everything that's going on and everything that sometimes we hear on the news, don't get too caught up on the news, okay? You guys are too little to be get cut, too caught up, get caught up in any of that stuff. Yes, talk to your parents, talk to your siblings, you know, talk to um, other people when you feel fear, okay? Um, but do not, again, linger on it. Um, pray to God that, again, He helps you understand what you're feeling and helps you feel better, you know? Um, because God wants us to be happy. So let's go ahead and that's going to be another frowning face. We're going to cross that out. We're going to just, no, we don't want to fear. We don't want you guys to be fearful about anything. So we got sad. Let's cross that out. We got fear. Let's cross that out. G-T-L-E-I-U. G-T-L-I-U. So what do you guys think that word is? Um, I think 
it's guilt. We're going to strike that down. We're going to strike down guilt. I mean, it's a little messy, but it's okay. Guilt. Give you guys a little bit more time too for those that are barely in first grade. So that's going to be guilt. Um, and it's down here. You can cross that out. Guilt is another word that, you know, it's not a good word. I am going to cross that out. Um, it's okay to feel guilty about, I mean, no, it's not okay. I mean, I, um, even when you do something bad, it's okay to feel bad about what you've done, but God doesn't condemn us. You know, God has cleansed us. You know, when Jesus died on the cross for us, he, he wiped our sins. He wiped all of our sins. He wiped us white as snow. So us as Christians, we don't, we don't, you know, believe in having guilt in our hearts. Why? Because that means that we don't believe. That means that we don't believe in our salvation. We don't believe that Jesus gave up his life for us. So, you know, feel bad about it, of course. Feel bad about it. That's called having conviction. Conviction in knowing that you did something that was wrong and you did something that God doesn't like. You know, repent, which means ask for forgiveness. Pray to God. Pray to him that um, he forgives you for what you have done. But don't ever keep guilt in your heart, okay? Um, we don't believe as Christians that we should keep um, guilt in our hearts. So that, no, you know, we, we don't want that, all right? Next word is going to be P-A-H-P-Y. P-A-H-P-Y. Um, let's cross out. We already have anger. Let's cross that out here. Um, so what do you guys think? I think that this word means happy. Now happy, that is going to be a smiley face. Of course we want to be happy, of course, you know, we want to um, always feel joy in our hearts because we are so joyous, we are happy that Jesus is in our lives, we are happy that he loves us, we are happy that he protects us, so yes, happy is a good emotion to have and be thankful, we, you know, say, Jesus, thank you, thank you for everything that you give me, thank you for this happiness in my heart, let's, you know, praise Jesus for everything that he does in our lives. Our next word is going to be Y-J-O. Y-J-O. Y for Sister Yessie. No. <laughs> All right. So, um, I think that word is joy. Let's write down joy. Oh, my gosh. My paper? Look at how messy that is. It's like, you know, I'm back in elementary school. That's okay. So, joy. Again, we just talked about joy. Having joy in our hearts. And joy, having joy in our hearts helps us express it to others when we have joy in our hearts we're always happy we're always smiling we're always singing so i urge you guys i ask you guys to share that joy share your joy with others you know with your friends um when you're on your zoom call with your teachers or in your classroom share your joy with your parents make sure that you're always um sharing that joy that jesus puts in your hearts so that's another going to be another another happy face i'm going to circle that um now this one T O B U D T O B U D. What do you guys think that means? We have happy, let's cross happy out from here. So we have these words. So which of these words here look similar to these? I think is the word doubt. So the word doubt. Now doubt, we're gonna do doubt a that's a frowning face. That's another one that we're gonna cross out. Because we shouldn't have doubt in our hearts, guys. That's one thing that we shouldn't have. Why? Because we have faith. We have faith and we believe that God can do it all. We can do all things through Christ, guys. Just like Philippians 4, 13 says, all things are possible through Jesus Christ. As long as we believe that, we should not have doubt in our hearts. That's one thing that I do not want you guys going up with, with having doubt about anything in life. Why? Because we serve a marvelous God. We serve a God that can do it all and he will do it all for us. Guys, remember that. Like anything that you ask in prayer, believe that he has given it to you. So doubt, no, we don't believe in doubt. There is no doubt for us. Okay. Now this word, it's a long one. So bear with me. All right. P-A-C-I-S-O-M-P. 
S O N. P A C I S O M S O N. So, what does that word look like to you guys? Let's look at this right here. I believe this word is compassion. Compassion. Compassion is also another one, another word that's on our Bible verse. Compassion means to be kind, to have kindness in our hearts for other people, for everyone that you encounter. For example, like if you guys um, see, like for example, you guys see somebody that's hungry or somebody that's cold and you give them, you know, food and give them a blanket or a jacket, that is called compassion, okay? Um, as Christians, you know, that's one thing that we do practice, that we are compassionate towards one another. You know, um, keep that in mind, guys, especially with winter coming. Uh, if you guys see someone, you know, talk to your mommy and your daddy and um, have something in the back of your car. You know, you might see somebody that's cold when you guys are driving around, picking up food, and um, somebody might need something. So, you know, um, keep that in mind, guys. Our next word is going to be R-U-S-E-R. P I S R U S E R P I S. And let's cross off compassion. We have joy as well. This word looks to me, it's not hit words, like surprise. Surprise. Oh, well, sorry guys. Let's go back to compassion. What is that compassion? Compassion is one of our good words. So we're going to put a happy circle around it. For surprise, Surprises are good. I mean, I like to just, you know, I like surprises. So surprise, um, it's gonna be another happy face. You know, you surprise people uh, by doing a good deed for them, surprise um, our parents by doing our chores without them asking us, or calling grandma and grandpa, or our aunts and uncles, you know, just go ahead and give them a call and give them a good surprise so that they can feel joy in their hearts. Our last word, actually, yeah, our last word is V-E-L-O. What is V-E-L-O? This word, guys, to me, is love. Love, of course, is happy face. Love is, you know, I guess it was left at the end because this is one of the greatest, um, Things, one of the commandments, one of the things that Jesus has asked of us to love one another, to love one another, to treat one another with love the way that we want to be treated ourselves. So let's spread love, guys. Let's, you know, even though we're having a bad day or anything may be going wrong, don't forget that um, we need to have love in our hearts. You know, don't let, you know, all these emotions here, like all these bad emotions, like I call them, you know, hate, sadness, anger, fear, guilt. All these things, like all these things are canceled out by love. Love is the greatest gift that God has given to us. And I urge you guys to give some of that love back. All right, guys? Um, like I said, today's lesson was going to be a little bit short. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. And again, um you have any questions you can always reach out to me i'll have my email you know um, in the description of the video for my little ones this is the finished picture of jesus with the little ones um again you know jesus loves each and every one of us it is the greatest of loves there is no other love greater than the love that jesus has for us so today's lesson you know and he's always going to protect us no matter what no matter what, he's gonna, he's like our shield. Like, like whenever somebody throws something at you, um, he's like in front of you. He stands in front of you to protect you so that nothing can, you know, hit you, so that nothing can ever harm you. So let's go ahead, guys, and read our memory verse again. It's as a father, as a father has compassion for his children, so does the Lord have compassion for those who fear him. Again, remember that fear also means respect, especially when we're talking about the Lord. And that's going to be Psalms 103.13. So, all right, well, guys, I really do hope that you guys took something from this lesson. I cannot wait to see you guys back in person at our church. But in the meantime, guys, um, keep yourself safe. 
wash your hands and um air hugs kisses let's go ahead and um you know for all your loved ones right now let's just try to keep our distance let's go ahead and uh, close in prayer let's bow our heads heavenly father we thank you my god we thank you for this time and father god that i've had with each and every one of these beautiful children my god i pray Lord father god that they understand my god that you are here with us each and every day each and every second of our lives my god you are here with us you are our shield you are putting yourself in front of us the father god to protect us from anything that is coming against us my god and i pray Lord father god that we always always remember to have love for one another and to remember that you my god are doing it all for us we thank you for our salvation my father god we love you and we praise you. Amen. All right, guys. I will go ahead and I'll see you guys next time. Come back next week um, with one of our other teachers and see what they have for you guys. I love you and I miss you guys. See you soon.